The Life and Sad Ending of Denise Williams Denise Williams was born June Denise Chandler on June 3, 1951 in Gary, Indiana. She grew up singing in Pentecostal church, which forbids the congregation to listen to anything but gospel music. She attended Morgan State University in Baltimore, Maryland in the hopes of becoming a registered nurse and an anesthesiologist, but she dropped out after a year and a half. She recalled, quote, you have to be a good student to be in college, and I wasn't. Williams started performing while a college student. Quote, a part-time singing job at a club, Casino Royale, and I liked it. It was a lot of fun. During those years, she worked at a telephone company and as a ward clerk at the Chicago Mercy Hospital. She recorded for the Toddlin' Toe group of labels as Denise Chandler. One of those early records, I'm Walking Away, was released on Toddlin's subsidiary, Lock Records. In the late 1960s, she was a favorite on England's northern soul scene. A brief spell in 1969 with Patty Hamilton's The Lovettes resulted in her lead on I'm Not Like the Others, a track that was eventually released in 1999. She became a backup vocalist for Stevie Wonder as part of Wonder Love, lending her vocals on his albums Talking Book, Fulfillness, First Finale, and Songs in the Key of Life. She left Wonder in 1975 to sign a deal with Columbia Records and Kalimba Productions. Kalimba was a production company started by Maurice White and Charles Stepney. Williams went on to work on her first studio album with both White and Stepney as its producers. Released in 1976, This Is Nicey rose to numbers 3 and 33 on the top R&B hip-hop albums and Billboard 200 charts. This Is Nicey has also been certified gold in the United States by the RIA and silver in the UK by the British phonographic industry. An album cut free got to numbers 1, 2, and 25 on the UK singles Billboard Hot R&B Songs and Hot 100 charts respectively. Another single, That's What Friends Are For, rose to number 8 on the UK singles chart. A few months before the release of This Is Nicey, Charles Stepney died. White went on to solely produce Williams' second album, Songbird, released in 1977. The album rose to number 23 on the Billboard Top Soul album chart. A song from the album called Baby Baby My Love's All For You reached number 13 on the Billboard Hot Soul song chart and number 32 UK singles chart. Williams guested on Robert Flack's 1977 album Blue Lights in the Basement and sang along with Maurice White on Weather Report's 1978 album Mr. Gone. Williams went on to a duet with John Mathis dubbed That's What Friends Are For in 1978 on Columbia for Columbia Productions. The LP rose to number 14 on the Billboard Top Soul album chart and number 19 on the Billboard 200 chart. The album has been certified gold in the U.S. by the RIAA. A song from the album called Too Much, Too Little, Too Late reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100, Hot Soul Song, and Adult Contemporary Songs charts. Williams' fourth recorded studio album, When Love Comes Calling, was issued in 1979 by ARC Records, Maurice White's vanity label on Columbia. The album rose to number 27 on the Billboard Top Soul Albums chart. A single from the album, I've Got the Next Dance, rose to number one on the Billboard Dance Club Play chart. Williams issued her follow-up album, My Melody, in 1981 on Columbia ARC. The album rose to number 13 on the Billboard Top Soul Albums chart. My Melody has been certified gold in the U.S. by the RIAA. The single, Silly, reached number 11 on the Billboard Hot Soul Song chart. Williams issued her follow-up album, Nicey, in 1982 on Columbia ARC. Nicey rose to number 20 on the Billboard 200 and number 5 on the Billboard Top Soul Albums chart. Williams and Mathis collaborated once again to record Without Us, the theme song of the sitcom Family Ties, which debuted in September 1982. In 1983, she released her seventh studio album, I'm So Proud, which got to number 10 on the Billboard Top R&B Albums chart. I'm So Proud was also nominated for a Grammy in the Best R&B Vocal Performance Female category. In 1984, Williams released her follow-up album, Let's Hear It For The Boy. The title track reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100 and was featured on the soundtrack to Footloose. 
She later guested on Johnny Math's 1984 album, A Special Part of Me, Stevie Wonder's 1985 LP, In the Square Circle, and James Taylor's 1985 album, That's Why I'm Here. Although Williams had recorded one inspirational song on almost each of her mainstream albums, it was in 1980 that her musical career path began to change favoring gospel music. Williams joined with friends Philip Bailey of Earth, Wind, and Fire fame, Billy Davis, and Marilyn McCoo to present a gospel show at the Roxy, a popular Los Angeles club. Jesus at the Roxy. Williams later reported that, quote, God did something miraculous. Over 300 people were saved. In 1985, at the 27th Annual Grammy Awards, Williams sang an a cappella version of her 1977 composition, God is Amazing, a gospel song, rather than her number one song, Let's Hear It for the Boy, much to her record company's disdain. In 1986, her first gospel studio album, So Glad I Know, was released on Sparrow Records and reached number eight on the Billboard Top Christian Album Chart and was nominated for Best Gospel Performance Female Grammy. They say, a duet with Sandy Patty, Williams won the Grammy Award for Best Gospel Vocal Performance by a Duo or Group, Choir or Chorus, and for I Surrender All, she won the Grammy Award for Best Soul Gospel Performance Female. In 1987, she released her 10th studio album, Water Under the Bridge, which rose to number 39 on the Billboard Top R&B Albums Chart. Never Say Never reached number 6 on the Billboard Hot R&B chart and number 23 on the Billboard Dance Club Songs chart. A year later, she released her follow-up studio album, As Good As It Gets, which rose to number 48 on the Billboard Top R&B chart. I Can't Wait charted at number 8 on the Billboard Hot R&B Songs chart. Another single, This Is As Good As It Gets, rose to number 2 on the Billboard Hot R&B Songs chart. In 1989, she issued her second gospel album, Special Love. That album reached number 11 on the Billboard Top Christian Album Chart. Williams went on to appear on Nancy Wilson's 1990 LP, A Lady with a Song, George Duke's 1992 album, Snapshot, Stevie Wonder's 1995 LP, Conversation Piece, and Spyro Mira's 1995 album, Love and Other Obsessions. In 1999, she released another gospel album, This Is My Song, on Harmony Records. The album rose number 14 on the Billboard Top Gospel Albums chart. This Is My Song won a Grammy Award for Best Pop Contemporary Gospel Album. Williams went on to appear in the 2003 Hollywood movie Christmas Child. In December 2005, she appeared on the reality dating show Eliminate as part of their Celebrity Week. In October 13, 2007, Williams performed in her hometown of Gary, Indiana at the reopening of the historic Glen Theater. Williams was thereafter recognized by Indiana State Representative Vernon G. Smith as an outstanding Hoosier. The same year, Williams went on to issue a single called Grateful, The Rededication, with Wanda Vaughn of The Emotions and Cherie Brown. The single got to number 40 on the Billboard Adult R&B Songs chart. On April 29, 2008, Williams announced that she was preparing a proposal to establish a program called KOP, Kids of Promise, in her hometown of Gary. Williams said the program would include a center with classes and programs dedicated to education in the performing arts. On June 27, 2010, Williams performed Silly with Monica at the BET Awards, as well as in June 2011, Williams was featured on Unsung, TV One's musical biography show. She later guested on Cliff Richard's 2011 album, Soulicious. In her personal life, Williams has been married three times and has four sons. Williams was married to her middle school sweetheart, Kendrick Williams, from 1971 until 1975. Together, they had two sons, Kendrick Jr. and Kevin. In May 1981, Williams married actor and minister Christopher Joy. Williams and Joy separated in August 1982, divorcing later that year. From 1986 until 1993, Williams was married to Brad Westring, with whom she had two sons, Forrest and Logan. Probably right now is her worst time, when her health is slowly deteriorating. Thank you for listening to the story about the life of Denise Williams. Like and comment on your opinion on the comment section below.